In this video, we'll learn one more example related to for loop. Now, suppose if I want to add some data, if I want to write some data into my cells using for loop, how do I write it? In the previous video, if you remember, we have seen how to write a for loop to display some numbers. So let us see that. Now, I'm the same file, Excel VBA building code, open developer tab, click on visual basic. If you remember previous video, for loop, I've shown you one example. Now, I have to just make only one change, just one line of change and rest, I can write some data into my place, right? So what I'll do is I'll first copy the same code I can write in this place itself. I'll not create a separate module here. So I'll just say as control C copy and I'll paste control V for paste. Now the very first thing is I cannot have two uh, macros of same name for loop one for loop one. I have to change the name. I'll put as for loop two. Next is I I'll not I don't want as message box X. I want to write some data. Okay. In this place, I don't want to display. So if you want to write some data, you already know how to write cells one comma one dot value equal to 10. Let's say I want to add some number 10. Now cells one comma one, you already know row comma column dot value equal to 10. How many times it will be added 10 different times. Okay. So if I execute this only in this cell value will be added. Okay. If I just click on this run button and if you see value 10 is added only in that cell, right? 10 times, not one time, 10 times, but it will make no difference if I'm adding 10 times in the same cell. What I want is I want in A1 to A10, A1 to A10, all these values which are given as 10. So if you observe A1 to A10, what is common? Column is common. Okay. Rows are changing. So if you want to change the rows, cells 2 com 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1, 4 comma 1, 5 comma 1. So what is changing the first variable? So why not remove that one, make it as dynamic with respect to X. Why? Because x value will keep on changing with respect to this for x equal to 1, first time 1, second time 2, third time 3 and so on. So what I'll do is I'll execute step by step so you get an idea what exactly is happening. Along with executing step by step, please observe value of x, value of x what is given here. I'll just keep my cursor here and then click on step into, step into. Now x value will become as 1 once it crosses, x value as 1. Now cells 1 comma 1 execute 1 comma 1 is 10 already 10 so it is not showing any difference execute again value of x is how much 2 so cells 2 comma 1 execute 2 comma 1 that is row number and column number so again if i click on step into again the value of 3 becomes here now if you see again 3 comma so this way it will work till number 10 okay now i don't want to go step by step i just want the entire code to be executed so just click on this run button entire code got executed right so it's working fine now it is sometimes a boring if you want same value in all the cells why not change the values if you want to change the values what you can do is instead of this 10 put something some variable which is dynamic now if you see there's only one variable x which is dynamic so i can just replace this number 10 with x if i replace with x what will happen is first time one second time two third time three and so on so if you see here, I'll execute one by one, step into, step into, step into. Now you see x value is one. So one comma one will have value as one. If you see one comma one value one, second will become as two comma one cell number will have value as two. Okay, execute. Now you see value as two and so on because x value is changing. It is incrementing by one, right? So if I just click on this and finally, if I click on this run button, you see one, two, three, four, five till number tens, everything I've got it, right? So it's very easy and simple to write some data that is dynamic data into this place. Let us see if I don't want this increment by one, I want increment by two. So I can just write as for x equal to one to 10 step two. I can write a step two. So let's see what happens. If I try to execute, you will find no change at this place. I'll tell you the reason if I, if I just run this at one place, it has executed, but you will not find any change. The reason I'll tell you because the data is already written there. So what I'll do is I'll first delete this data, select delete, and then I'll go back to macros. I'll, I have not made any changes. Now I'll just simply execute. If step two means first value becomes one comma one, three comma one, five comma one, seven comma one, that means odd number of cells will have values. What would be the values as one, three, five, seven, nine? if I run it and if you observe 13579 okay previously why it didn't execute because already data was there so it was overwriting the data now I've removed the data and it's working fine right so this way it's, it's easy to understand right that is step two if you put step three again the value will change one comma four comma five and so on so this way so this is fine if I want in the second column I'll put as comma two okay and here I'll put as step comma step three 
and now if I execute, so second column will have some values. If I click on this run button, if you see second column 1, 4, 7, 10, because step 3, 1, 4, 7, 10, they are keep on changing. So it's very easy to add the data into your cells using the for loop. It's very simple. So I hope you understood only one line I've changed instead of message box, I've written as cells 1 comma 1 dot value equal to some value. And I've, I'm trying to play with that values x comma this one value and so on, right? So I hope able to understand how to write some values into your cells using for loop. That's all for this video.